today, I want to talk about how four settlement or one day clearing will cause up to 5,000 short squeezes or 5,000 game stops in one day, as quoted from this interview. I also want to talk about how China has officially banned all short selling starting today. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, Kristen tweeted this interview with an extract saying if they were to shut it down in one day, we would have 5,000 GameStops going off. They're tipping off the shorts to try and cover their positions slowly before fourth settlement is implemented. Saying the SEC is making moves that we haven't seen before and as a result, it's going to create havoc. First, let's go through the interview extract and then also talk about Kristen's summary. They're warning the European regulators about the upcoming settlement problem. They're warning them. I don't know about you, but if they were to shut it down in one day, we would have 5,000 GameStops going off. They're tipping off the shorts to try to cover their positions. Maybe that's why you've seen a rally in the market, you know, while everything is falling apart. The stock market keeps rallying, like William said, they're going to see a spike up in the actual Dow. Maybe the shorts are starting to cover in the bigger names and moving down to the smaller names. But there's definitely something going on behind the scenes. The SEC is making moves that, you know, we haven't seen before. If you have to move trades from LLC to LLC to avoid settlement date, it's going to be hard to do it the same day. It's going to create havoc. The small time guys are the biggest criminals. They're most likely going to walk away from the market and leave a lot of people holding the bag. And that's why they're doing this slowly because they know everybody's going to walk away and people are going to get hold in the bag. Now, there is a few things in that interview that I found really interesting. And it's a few things that I've been speaking about for a long time. So the first thing that came up is where I said the shorts are starting to cover in the bigger names like Nvidia, AMD, Apple and others and moving their way down to the smaller names like Carvana, Upstart, Affirm and other heavily shorted names before finally closing shorts on AMC and GameStop. Effectively saying this is why we're seeing such a rally in the market, such a rally in these big tech stocks, because the shorts are closing out of their short positions in bigger names like Nvidia, AMD and others. And again, that's also why we've seen other heavily shorted names squeezing like Coinbase, Carvana, Upstart and others, especially over the last few weeks, because again, the shorts are working their way down to the smaller names. Because, of course, if these hedge funds are trying to move their FTDs from one hedge fund to another hedge fund to another hedge fund to avoid settlement or that forced closeout, it's going to be very hard, if not impossible, to do it same day. And that's because the SEC is moving from a two-day settlement time to a one-day settlement time, eventually to a zero-day settlement. And again, we know this is exactly what the shorts are doing, playing past the parcel or playing hot potato with those shorts, trying to pass them around, trying to reduce the amount of FTDs or at least stop AMC from going on the threshold securities list because they can't close out of those shorts. They're effectively just trying to reset that clock, reset that timer every single day it comes up, which would be nigh on impossible to do with zero day settlement. And we also know those smaller hedge funds are already going bankrupt and passing their short positions on to the larger hedge funds or the larger market makers who are going to be left holding the bag. And by holding the bag, he means holding that pile of toxic excrement or toxic derivatives that's already being held by those market makers, by those large banks like UBS and many others. And Kristen has said the SEC is warning European regulators that the SEC intends to enforce quicker settlement, one day settlement or zero day settlement, same day settlement. They're trying to do this steadily to ensure the shorts do close all of their short positions while making sure the system doesn't implode. But obviously the shorts can't close out of all AMC and GameStop shorts without imploding the system anyway. Because of the sheer amount of counterfeit shares that have flooded financial markets, not just in the US, but in Europe as well. And especially with other countries like South Korea, India, Thailand and China already cracking down on the counterfeit crooks, it's only a matter of time. We also had another great day in the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group, starting off the day with a 126% runner in ONMD. RJ's locked in a 66% gain, and Firefly took a few separate trades, locking in 22% on his first trade and another 20% on a second trade. 
On top of that, Arif locked in another 18 or 20% on CNXA, and Shazad has already grown his account from a thousand pounds to a thousand three hundred pounds, a 30% gain in just three days since Thursday. So if you guys want to be locking in 126% gains every single day and having a testimonial just like one of these, be sure to join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group linked in the description below. And speaking of which, Unusual Wells has tweeted saying China's security regulator will fully suspend the lending of restricted shares effective from Monday. So right now, not only can short sellers not short new stocks, but even long shareholders can't lend out their shares for short selling. And Frank tweeted saying China has moved to officially limit short selling after informal efforts failed to stop a worsening stock market sell-off. Saying investors who buy shares will not be allowed to lend them out for short selling with an agreed lockup period. The measures which come into effect on Monday, aka today, are designed to create a fairer market order. At this point, it seems China is pretty much desperate to stop short selling to try and rescue their stock market, which is down at levels not seen since around 2008, down over 45% over the last three or four years so far. Now that could potentially be getting worse unless China does outright ban short selling and try and inflate the market or pump it back up with Evergrande. But first, let's talk on China banning the counterfeit crooks. So Kristen tweeted saying China is making more moves to stop the counterfeit crooks. Actually, she specified saying the MSCI China index has lost 60% from a February 2021 peak. And that's why China is trying to do everything they can to push the market back up, including restricting lending and banning short selling. Especially because China's Evergrande has been ordered to liquidate. The real estate giant owes over $300 billion in external loans and external financing. So it says a Hong Kong court ordered China's Evergrande, the world's most heavily indebted real estate developer, to undergo liquidation following a failed effort to restructure the company. Now, so what's interesting about this is that Evergrande is obviously in $300 billion of debt. Now, some of that debt is going to be from onshore Chinese banks and the other portion of it is going to be from offshore other lenders like offshore American lenders like American banks and American hedge funds. Now, during a liquidation, China is going to prioritise the onshore Chinese debt being paid first, effectively with the offshore American debt being left in the dust. So let's say they find in Evergrande around $30 billion worth of assets against the $300 billion worth of debt. Well, the Chinese banks keep the $30 billion in assets and American banks don't get a penny. Which means obviously that a large portion of this $300 billion of debt that American banks and hedge funds and market makers are holding is going to get wiped out to zero. Santa Surfing tweeted saying that Evergrande is preparing for a liquidation. Obviously with the headline saying a key offshore bondholder group is planning to join a petition to liquidate the developer on Monday. Asking, are these offshore bondholders American-based hedge funds or banks? Because if so, get ready for the beginning of a market crash. Because obviously we're going to see a lot of American banks, American hedge funds and American market makers all of a sudden having to write in an additional $300 billion of realised losses. Not unrealised losses, not just a few million dollars worth, potentially hundreds of billions of dollars worth of realised new losses. It will be interesting to see whether this results in another Archegos situation with a number of banks, hedge funds and market makers are realising heavy losses upwards of six, eight, ten billion dollars each. Remember when Archegos went under, both Credit Suisse and Nomura and other banks out there even like Goldman Sachs took on heavy losses in the realm of billions of dollars. And as a result, a number of stocks out there ended up crashing in value and other stocks out there rose in value dramatically. Because obviously, Bill Huang's hedge fund had to wind down, closing out of those long positions and closing out of those shorts. Now, obviously, Evergrande specifically doesn't hold shares of companies. It doesn't have longs or shorts. But obviously, as a result of these banks taking on heavy losses, they're likely to rejig their portfolios. And depending on how much of a rejig is seen in these banks, hedge funds and market makers, it would impact US stocks, maybe stocks in the S&P 500, maybe smaller stocks. Maybe those stocks will go up, maybe those stocks will go down. 
But obviously until the liquidation is finalized, we won't understand how much these banks, hedge funds and market makers have lost and exactly which stocks end up impacted. So guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.